For the last month and a half, I've been working as a fire dancer on a circus show in Las Vegas called Celestia. I've had the opportunity to train, play, and work with some talented artists from Russia, Hungary, Ukraine, Morocco, and more. Every night around 6 p.m., I head to the tent to get ready, and I'm at work between three and five hours depending on the night. This has left my days free to train, and if you saw in one of my last videos, you'll know that I've been doing dry training and keeping up my general fitness by swimming in the hotel swimming pool and rock climbing several days a week. Hey guys, so I am hair, costume, and makeup ready, and it is showtime. Let's get on stage. As my last day on the show got closer and closer, it became more and more bittersweet each time I went on stage to perform. While I'm excited to go freediving again, I've made a bunch of amazing friends that I hope to keep in touch with. All right, everybody, so that was my last show. Stay tuned because next video, I will be coming at you from Israel. Hello, freedivers. I'm coming to you from Tel Aviv, Israel, and I've been in transit for too many hours. 32 hours to be exact. I'm here to train freediving with Aaron Solomons and then level up on my knowledge base as an instructor for the next month. Alat is located on the northwestern side of one of the fingers of the Red Sea. It's north of Dahab and about six hours from Tel Aviv by bus. To get to Alat, I've taken four cheap flights from two budget airlines, Norwegian Air and Wizz Air. They aren't too bad if you bring your own snacks, refill your water bottles between flights, and don't mind sleeping in uncomfortable places. I'm traveling with just my backpack and a duffel bag, and I'm excited to be done with the travel so I can A, get some sleep, and B, get in the water. Now it's just a train from Tel Aviv to Beersheba, and then two buses from Beersheba to Alat. Apparently you can take a $100 flight from Tel Aviv to Ramon International Airport near Alat, but I'm on a budget. Besides, the desert has been lovely to look at on the six-hour bus ride, and it kind of reminds me of the desert outside of Las Vegas. Aaron and Alina were nice enough to pick me up from the bus station, and we went grocery shopping before they dropped me off at the hostel. As the weather here in Alat is nice year-round, I opted for a bed on the rooftop and woke with the sunrise. Sleeping in open air is cheaper than staying in a dorm room, and the best perk is that I have a breathtaking view of the sunrises and sunsets. The hostel is three stories tall if you count the roof, and it offers both scuba and free diving. There are tons of spots for divers to lounge or take courses in, and there's a nice pool to swim and perform statics in. Interesting factoid, I just found out that a ceasefire occurred right before I got to Israel. During the three days of travel that it took me to get here from the US, 400 missiles were fired upon Israel from the Gaza Strip. Apparently nobody was injured, but the missiles were fired upon Beersheba, a city that I was traveling through just yesterday. It's crazy to think that life is going on in this city like nothing has ever happened. Fortunately, Alat is outside of range for missiles firing from the Gaza Strip, and Israel also has this impressive counterterrorism defense called the Iron Dome. Well, that's all I have for now. Israel is unlike any other country that I've ever visited, and I'm excited to explore it more through freediving. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with somebody who might be interested in freediving related travel. Stay tuned because in the next few weeks, I'm going to be showing you what it's like to travel and train freediving here in Alat. As I said before, I will be training with Aaron Solomons, and if you have any questions for him or any travel related questions for me, please feel free to let me know about them in the comments below. Okay, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Stay tuned for more freediving videos from Alat Israel next week.